Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more of the Apothecary Diaries. You guys, I am really enjoying the show. We got a great start with the first two episodes last time. Um, I'm really excited to jump into it now that I've heard a little bit from you guys and we've been able to discuss it a little bit. Um, and also just, I've had time to think it over. So before I do all that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I am sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is gonna be in that description down below. And if you're joining me on those YouTubes, I really hope you'll hit like and also subscribe for me. It helps me and my channel a whole lot. So thank you in advance for that. Um, yeah, guys, we had a very, very fun start to the series last time, last two episodes really, um, first one was kind of like, uh, just establishing like the bare basics of everything. And the second one, we get to see a little bit more of everyone in action, like a little bit more of everyone in like what, you know, I'm assuming it's going to be like our, all our like ongoing roles and everything. Like we have, uh, we have Mau Mau in her new spot doing her new thing and everything. Um, I gotta say, uh, well, there were a couple things that were brought up to me. One thing I wasn't, I like, I knew she was helping her, but I wasn't quite sure what exactly was happening during that whole like, oh, the vase broke. Well, um, you know, that'll get taken out of your, basically what that person was doing was making it so that it got taken out of the kidnapper's cut and the kidnappers got less and just nice little kind of F you, I guess. Um, Cause apparently that's like a thing like, you know, um, so women are, kidnapped here to go and work in different areas and their kidnappers like get they're almost like recruiters like they get a little bit of commission on them I guess on what they make so very very interesting system and um, thank you guys for clarifying uh, some of you went through and like clarified all this different stuff about the the time period how things worked I really appreciate that because we are like settling into a whole new world here which I really appreciate um, and I want to make sure that I'm keeping on top of everything as much as I can um, so yeah, this was really good. I love Mau Mau so far. She is so fun and likable and quirky and, um, you know, definitely does not have that like more bubbly protagonist ener energy, but I love that she's like very just kind of like a little bit more deadpan until like we start talking about her craft and then she just like, she like kitties out and she's like, Meow. <laughs> uh, oh, and I'm wearing a kitty on my shirt. Uh, this shirt worked out so well today. I'm just like, I'm very impressed by my uh, completely accidental choice to wear the shirt. Um, so yeah, so really, really fun series so far. Interesting series so far. Um, I love that. And I already knew this from like the rhododendron thing. Cause I'm like, I already knew that rhododendrons were poisonous because of Buffy. Um, but yeah, I love that we're um, keeping everything grounded in like kind of uh, actual real life nature info. And um, uh, you guys actually clarify for me in the comments a little bit because I was saying like the intro, we have this kind of like magical girl sequence at one point and you guys were like, yeah, so here's the thing. This whole series really grounded in reality, really grounded in like, there's no supernatural element. Everything is going to be, um, down to earth. And the fun of it is getting to watch Mau Mau figure everything out using her knowledge of plants. And, and so I'm like, that's amazing. Like in a way, that's almost a bigger twist for me than if she, did have a if there was a supernatural element so i'm guessing you know we saw that spirit at the end of the last episode there's going to be like a logical explanation for that but considering that almost every single anime i can think of has some kind of supernatural twist today and pretty much always i guess um i mean that's not true because there's a lot of like shoujo that doesn't there's a lot of like slice of life that doesn't necessarily but like a ton of it does, like regardless of genre. So I almost think it's a little bit novel to have a series where 
um, you know, this, the superpower is just her knowledge and her expertise on actual stuff. So that's going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that a lot. I'm sure going to learn a lot, um, which I'm also looking forward to. So, yeah, so we had this whole fun story last time with this aphrodisiac, and we have Jinshi kind of trying to, like, charm her, and, like, and it's just not working, and I love that. I love, I love the chase, and I love her reaction to it, and, you know, totally understandable considering, you know, we know she was very close with the, um, the brothel girls, and some of you are saying, like, yeah, you know, she may have gotten an idea of, like, how things work from them and she's kind of like mm, I don't think so uh so yeah so I'll be very curious to see I'm told that it's a very nice build up uh what they're building up between the two of them so excited for that um we have a ghost to go and bust we have to go bust some ghosts <laughs> so yeah guys um I'm really excited for it I'm here for it uh, you guys are so pumped for this one and your pumped gets me pumped. So yeah, without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we jump right into episode three of the Apothecary Diaries. Let's do this. Huh? What's ha what is, um, what's happening? Okay, well, what was that all about? Oh, would this be our ghost? Kind of looks like a ghost. Well, it looks like a ghost. Looking very ghostly out here. Now see, yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's scary. Okay, warranted reaction. However, I would be running. I would not be, I would not be falling on the ground. I would be running so fast. Is that why? That's why. Oh. God. Hmm. We got, we got some help. We got some help from our Mau Mau. Sounds like a job for Mau Mau. Oh, should we end this? <gasps> oh, I got a tingle. So then. So is somebody already inside? Oh. dark that's incredibly dark oh well you made a big impression love yeah that was really good for everyone Ooh, oh, we're kidding out. Ooh. Huh? oh don't take my yummies away Ugh, cold. He is so gorgeous. Well, he's also a pretty smart guy. He's figured out a lot. Does he? Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's just all over her face. <laughs> well, we wouldn't know about any like psychosomatic kind of okay. Yeah, we would only know about the medicinals, the herbs. 
Oh, he's so pretty. That will work on like anyone else. That'll work on anyone else. Oh, she's trying to be gentlemanly. Shomo. <laughs> oh. Uh, you didn't make it. You know, you made it pretty obvious. Oh, he's so in love that even being stared at like an insect is just lovely. Oh. Is, you know, is it Jinshi sleepwalking? Or is it somebody else sleepwalking? Oh, no, it's okay. It's definitely a woman. Oh. oh! Oh my god! Oh, so in other words, she was like a shunned concubine and they gave her to somebody else. So that's like a big step down and also just kind of like to be get like he's basically like firing you, you know what I mean, Emperor? Interesting. Wow, sounds gorgeous. On the north side. Why? Wait. But it sounds like you've got a really good hunch, though. Really? Oh. Uh, kind of sounds like what's going on here a little bit. There's some similarities. Oh, okay. Makes sense because you were asleep. case well, all we would have to do is make sure she doesn't have to get sold off to this military person <laughs> I'm told that this I can't remember his name he's a really really good character I could see it already we're, we're we're worried I think we're worried you know she's not a super over emotional person but she's got her feelings Yes. Oh, God. Was there another way? Oh. Oh, they set it up. But then another person came in. Is she? Oh, they are. They're from the same place. So wait. Is she? Oh, my God. She's pretending so that she can go to him? Or, okay. Hang on, I need them to clarify that. Oh, it almost maybe kind of like they had it set up. Oh. 
You don't say. Oh, so they worked it out. So, oh my gosh, this whole time we thought. And she's going to go home to her childhood friends. Dang. Oh my god, that was such a twist! And yeah, I was going to say she figured something out. She's like, her home was here. Oh my god, I didn't put that together at all. I'm ashamed. Oh. And they, and so they actually, you know what I mean? Like they actually want to be together. So he was like getting her there. They were getting her out of there. Aww. Cause what they have is pretty special. It seems like she was dancing so that he could see. Oh my god, what a twist! That's kind of sweet! They ended up together even after all that. They they waited for each other. She even managed to stay, you know. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! They went through so much to be together! Oh, because it it's really seems like these girls don't really have a choice in like how they end up here. So she actually got her choice. Oh, we're kind of pondering like mm, the effects of love. Okay, what is it? Oh, they're not going to tell us. Wow, guys, that was so good. That was, so, I never saw that twist coming in a million years. You guys were telling me that a lot of this is going to be um, Mau Mau doing like detective work and like these little like investigative adventures with Mau Mau. And I gotta tell you, I'm seeing the format right away. I'm loving it. I'm loving like, I, the worst thing about that was just that I'm disappointed in myself that I did not pick up on the signals that they were giving me. I definitely need to be sharper and like, I need to look past what their, what the obvious answer is, um, because that was so good. So in the example that Mau Mau was giving, at first I thought they were trying to say that they were like conspiring to get her at a lower price, but I guess what they were doing was they had, they, all parties were conspiring and like, cause what do you think about it? Like, Here's the thing. We're being given two sides of the story. The one side is that, like, you're basically, it seems like a lot of them are sort of taken against their will because women just um, don't have a lot of, I would say they don't have a lot of value. Clearly, like, they do have some value in these roles, but, like, in general, they just don't really get a choice. And that's just, you know, I, as a woman, I don't love it, but I'm, able to get in the um you have to at least be able to get in the thinking a little bit to just be able to understand the story so on the one hand you have that on the other hand you have like you know once you're in there there is kind of a societal structure to the way that this whole palace works and like you know we know that you know if you're if you're top concubine your life is seemingly pretty good like on at least on a surface level okay let's put it that way but we can see how even um i'm gonna butcher her name kyo kyoku duh Do they say it do they have it written anywhere here no they don't okay you know the one i'm talking about the pink haired one with the baby girl um but she even seemed like a little bit jealous of what they ha had you know because there's like there's something about that. Like he fought to get her. She fought to make sure she got to him. Like they went through so much. They took so many detours to get to each other and, and conspired so much. And she even managed to stay untouched and everything. Um, and there's really something to be said for that kind of 
love, you know, that kind of devotion. And sure, you know, I know the emperor has concubines that he favors, but does kind of beg the question, like, um, it's, it seems like, I don't know, it seems like our girl was maybe a little bit, she even said, like, I'm maybe a little bit jealous of what they have, you know, so there is something to be said. I mean, obviously there's, you know, there's something to be said for true love. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of a no brainer, but you know, again, trying to come at it from the, uh, perspective of the world that we're in. Um, Mau Mau was so sharp in this one. She was so, she always is. And I like how like she kind of knew, but she didn't say anything till the end. And I like how everyone like, you know, like we sort of knew maybe, and we were cool about it. We were cool about it. So you know what, at the end of the day, they went through a lot to get to this point. And like, this was somebody actually getting a choice and like what their life was going to be, which was kind of refreshing to see. So I would say, and there was no harm done at the end of the day. I mean, it's not like, you know, she wasn't like, she went there with the intention to get out. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, oh, wow, well, you contributed all this stuff and now like you have to go. It's like, no, we clearly, we, <laughs> we, we, and she even fumbled the dance and everything. Wow. On purpose. Um, that was a that was a long game. They were play they were both playing a long game. So yeah, it worked out. Worked out. Um, that was a great one, you guys. I definitely need to sharpen my sleuth skills to keep up with what's going on on the show. Um, but that was really, really good. I enjoyed it. I'm loving Mau Mau. Of course, Mau Mau is just so cute with her snacks and her just I, again, I love how she's a very low key person, but yet people are still attracted to her. You know, typically when you see a personality that attracts other people, it's very bubbly. It's very outgoing. It's very, and I love that Mau Mau is really none of those things, but yet she is endearing in her own way and has qualities and skills people love about her and give her that same kind of attention and praise. And I, it's just really, really fun to see, honestly. Um, but yeah. Uh, Jin, she just still trying his best and charming her, you know, they've got a point that like any other, in any other circumstance, but not Mau Mau, not Mau Mau. So, all right, guys, I'm proud of Mau Mau. I'm loving the show. I really have fun with that episode. I hope you did as well. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please, as we jump off into another adventure, mystery, whatever, um, all of the above, um, please be sure to join me next time and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.